So I recently went out with this guy that, you know, we're Instagram friends, we follow each other, we like each other's stories every once in a while, but it's one of those people that you're kind of like, who the hell is this? Like, how do I have them on Instagram? Did I meet them somewhere or or what? Eventually we decide to go out for drinks and picked me up. We go to a nice wine bar. He picked up the check. Everything is going well. And except I'm starting to get some hints that like, how old is this guy? We're just kind of talking about like when he graduated college and when he got his first Blackberry. And I'm thinking, Blackberry. <laughs> I remember being, I think, about six years old with my dad's Blackberry, but I, I don't ever recall having my own. Anyway, I'm starting. They'll know how old, how old I am when I start talking about Atari 2600. I pick up that this guy is a few years a few years older than me. He was 27. Playing Space Invaders. You guys remember Atari playing Space Invaders and Pong and uh, Pitfall? That was fun. <laughs> Your pole position. You know, he wasn't pushing 30s yet, but he was a solid few years older than me. He kind of admits, like, I didn't think that you were that young either. This was probably the best damn date I have ever had in my entire life. Okay? Yep. It wasn't just because, you know, he did all the proper things, such as get the car door, pick me up, drop me off, get the check. It wasn't that. It was like, this guy was invested, okay? He was interested. He was interested in, like, my life. He was interested in me. So we were chatting up for him. Um, yeah, and you know what's funny, guys? You know, hearing her talk, like, how this guy was invested in her. He, he put some effort into the date. He did all the right things. You know why he did all these things? Because she's in her early 20s. That's why. Because she's still in her early 20s. However... If she was in her 30s or 40s or, God forbid, her 50s, would he be doing all that investment and energy and effort? No, 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 no. So when we, when we cover, just for future reference, when we cover those older women in uh, other videos and they're complaining about how the guy doesn't do this, he doesn't do that, he's not emotionally available, you know why? It's because you're in your 30s, right? But when you're in your 20s, guys will make the effort. Remember that, ladies. This is why I tell you, you got to cash it in when you're young, when you're her age. Hopefully, if she's smart, she will. But now she's starting to see that, hey, dating an older guy, it's not that bad, right? She's a 21-year-old girl. This guy is claiming to be 27. He's probably like 33, actually. <laughs> Who knows, right? But uh, she's digging it. She's digging it, right? These girls, these especially these younger girls, once... They give it a shot. They realize, like, hey, these older guys, you know, it's not so creepy after all. And the guy treats me with respect. And I feel good when I'm around him. And, um, you know, and what's the big deal, right? Yeah. It's like when I talk about how I met my uh, the last girl I dated who was, like, much, much younger than me. She was 19 when I met her. I was already, like, 48 or something uh, when I met her, 49. Uh, my girl that uh, was working at Chick-fil-A and I just went through the drive through the first time and she had no clue like how old, I mean she was shocked once we dated and she found out how old I was she was like you know she was like I don't know if I would have gone out with you if I had known that you know and she didn't find out till like the third date because I kept toying with her and I was like oh you'll find out it's not a big deal let's just get to know each other first right and then I finally told her <clears throat> but it's too late by then she already liked me but she was like oh my gosh you know this is the best like and to this day she was like best boyfriend ever <laughs> it's like Matt, Matt treated me good I, I have zero complaints about him best boyfriend ever um, which is nice to hear right which is nice to hear because when I was younger I didn't have that title best boyfriend ever but uh, okay continue and, and I mean both got to know each other pretty well for you know a first date when he drops me off he says typically 21 is kind of young for somebody I would date, but you're so mature. And he says, Everyone I can says see that. myself dating you. So I think this is what I'm touching on, okay? Women are already ahead of the maturity curve. Oh, yeah. Men are naturally behind. Yeah, duh. But I'm stuck in this problem that I'm 21, he's 27, okay? I have a brother that's 26, and there's something about that that doesn't feel right. Oh. That's nothing. Six years, I mean, that's laughable. That's nothing. She needs to get over that. Um, and she will. I believe she will. I don't think she's going to dump this guy just because he's six years older. That's so. That's that's completely laughable. Um, that's that's nothing as far as age gaps go. That's absolutely nothing. She probably feels like because she's 21 and all her little girlfriends are probably super immature. She needs to get rid of those girlfriends because, you know, um, 
they're not gonna be able to hang with her dating this older guy and she'll probably like if this doesn't work out with this older guy she might even date an older older guy than that right because she's realizing like, hey the older i go the more better treatment i get the more um the more fun i have with these guys the more value i get from dating these guys the more life experience these guys have so all right next clip okay here we go two pickup lines older guys can use for younger women this works so well so let's hear it i am way too old for you this works it's reverse psychology just trust me i can explain why yeah. now i offer coaching on this if you want coaching on how to date younger women or any topics on women let me know in my Instagram DMs. The second line is this. If only I were X, Y, Z years younger. So if you're 25 years older, say if only I were 25 years younger. If only I were 30 years younger. If only I were 15 years younger. It's a really great line because it makes them start thinking, ooh, he's interesting. He's not trying to get with me. He's not being a typical guy. Yeah, I, I like her advice. I wish there were more younger women to give older, older men advice. Okay, there's no sound on this one, but this is a 18-year-old uh, girl, or she was 18 when she met her boyfriend, who was 45. I mean, it's <laughs> it's not far off from what I was from the last girl I was dating. She's cute. Oh man, that guy looks yeah. Yeah, he doesn't look that much older than her. Yeah, you can tell he's like a good 20 years older than her. But she's been with him this, this entire time. She's saying here six years later. Yeah, a lot of these age gap relationships, much to the chagrin of older women, they do work out. I mean, they do, you know, they do pretty well. I mean, my, my age gap relationship did really well. The last one I, that I was in went four years, man. And, uh, you know, and it only ended because I felt like I didn't want to use her good years knowing that I probably was not going to commit long term um i just i don't know i think i'm just a loner that way I, I need to do my own thing i just need to keep moving um so yeah but uh most of these work most of these work yeah here they are six years later and they have a kid together now this guy's like he's continuing to age <laughs> But yeah, good for them. But yeah, speaking on my own relationship, the last one, um, it, it was probably one of the best relationships that I had. And even that was not a, enough to keep me around. I just, I felt like I just wanted to get back to doing my own thing. Um, not even necessarily like dating around or building back my dating rotation. I just, just wanted to be free again. And uh, I didn't want to have to answer to anybody or I just didn't want the responsibility of having to be somewhere and, you know, I just didn't want it, you know, so, uh, but I'll do a video on that in the future. But uh, many of these age gap relationships do work. Again, uh, mine that, you know, uh, the, my most recent one was probably the, one of the best ones that I've ever had. Uh, we did not end on bad terms whatsoever. And um, we're still, you know, in close contact and, you know, there's no hard feelings at all and uh, wish each other the best. And that's the way it should be, man. You know, I don't like these ugly breakups where, you know, there's like a war going on and, uh, you know, it just it's nasty. I don't like that. I, I, there shouldn't be any reason for that. But uh, so anyway, drop your comments below, guys. Let me know what you think. It's a nice coaching video. Anything you like to add, anything you like to share, please drop them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. So drop those comments below, guys. I'd love to read them, share them with the community. Until next time, this is M from The 33 Secrets signing out. Not even going to tell you where I am. I'm just signing out. <laughs> Don't forget to smash that like button below. Go ahead and smash it right now. Also, hit that notification bell right next to it so that you're notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on the YouTube. More importantly, guys, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a ton with the YouTube algorithm, so make sure you're subscribed to my channel as well. Also, hit the notification bell so that you're notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on the YouTube, and especially whenever I live stream. A lot of you guys complain like, oh, I missed the live stream. Why didn't you tell me? It's like, dude, you gotta hit the notification bell. That way, you'll be notified like that anytime I live stream, right? So. Make sure you like,
comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And for you guys who want to support all of my incredible work I am sharing with you guys, my incredible coaching lessons I'm teaching you guys, all this red pill, gold pill, platinum pill, diamond pill content that I'm sharing with you guys, the best way to support me, best way to show you love me is to jump in my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months to Mastery, where I'm teaching guys just like you how to go out there and approach and close the youngest, hottest, and most beautiful looking women on the planet. I'm talking about eights, nines, and tens, the same exact type of women that myself and all of my coaching students out there are cold approaching and closing every single week. And I kid you not, we are making things happen every single week no matter what is going on in the world no matter you know what new presidential administration is taking over no matter what new virus is taking over doesn't matter we are out there making things happen and living our lives to the absolute fullest and just meeting the best looking women on the planet i want you to join us i want you to become one of us i want you to learn this stuff and right now the first month is only one buck right still only one buck for the entire first month of coaching lessons from me so take advantage of it and this is the absolute best way to support my work support my work so all you need to do to get signed up is click that link below in my description box it will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now it just takes two seconds so do that now and i will see you in my next coaching video